Um, the town is currently searching for a new town manager following the departure of Mr. Kamalo. Um, if you were to be elected, what qualities in a town manager are the most important to you? Um, so obviously it starts off with their ability to handle the budget. You know, their background in municipal finance is going to be critical. We've talked about all these, you know, the debt issues that are coming up that Brian keeps referring to. Um, so that that's, that's table stakes for this. Um, in addition to that, as I mentioned before, we need to reestablish confidence in the town hall. So we've had a lot of turnover there. And if we don't do a thorough search and make sure we have the best person, whether that is external from the town right now or internal, that is going to set the tone for how we, you know, both attract and retain new talent into the town hall for the coming years. And personally, I think that'll set the tone for the next decade at the town hall. So getting that position right is one of the most critical decisions that we will make in the short term. Um, so I will look with both, you know, the financial capabilities and the leadership qualities to build that confidence. Mr. Memo, same question to you. What qualities in a town manager are most important to you? So I had an opportunity when I was in Northbridge to actually serve on a town manager of the search committee, and we were actually pretty successful in picking one who had been in place for 10 years after we, we selected him. And I think that the most, most critical is we need to have a very experienced town manager who, who can handle the variety of all the demands of town management, and that includes you know, budgeting, includes finance, includes personnel decisions. Um, you know, we need to find somebody who, who's strong enough to have that, he or she is strong enough to have all that technical expertise, but also somebody who's also responsive to the select board as well. We need to have a good dynamic and a good rapport with our town manager to understand that the town manager is working for us, so it's subject to our oversight, but also someone who has that technical expertise to make sure that we're moving in the right direction as a town. Mr. Herr, what qualities in a town manager are most important to you? Well, number one, I think the town manager that we select will need to be a great listener. We have a really vibrant community here in Hopkinton. We have very high expectations of our local government. And somebody that's a great listener, I think, will bode well going forward. Um, I do think that whoever we hire or whoever we place should be, and I say that intentionally, who, who uh, we should make sure they lead by example. Um, you know, the best way to win the hearts and minds of the teams that you work with is to lead by example and show them the way. Uh, I do think that uh, the next town manager should be someone who has a lot of experience in a community such as ours. There are different types of communities in Massachusetts for lots of different reasons, and uh, our community, with the expectations that we have internally, uh, that's a special type of person that can fill that role. So those would be some of the key things that I'd be looking for. Ms. McSweeney, what qualities in a town manager are you looking for? So I agree that we need somebody that's going to listen, but I think it's more important than just listening, but building the relationships in the town, building relationships with the select board, building relationships with the residents in town, our elected officials um, within the state government is going to be really important, as well as those in the other Metro West community, especially as we're working on important projects like the um, MWRA project. I think relationships can be very important. I also want somebody who who is committed to a transparent government and who sets that tone for everyone. Both the select board and the town manager need to work to make um, government more friendly in Hopkinton and accessible so that people feel like they're heard and that their input is being um, included in government. Can I add something to this real quick, Peter? Um, I also think the individual needs to have a very strong personality. My view is that the town manager is the sixth person on the select board but does not have a vote. But that person needs to be able to sit in there and kind of hang in there with the select board as they have their debates and not be afraid to weigh in and chime in because they're going to help keep us on the, on the straight and narrow sometimes when we could go off into the never, never land over here. Um, so I think a very strong personality that feels they're part of the board but doesn't have that vote is really important. Thank you. Can I yes, say, Mr. Clark, of course, and then Mr. Memo, yes. Okay. I really like what Kyla brought up about um, building relationships is critical to that import into that position and I think specifically when you think about relationships inside the town hall in my mind we need to get to a point where we have someone that's leading and I, I know it's town manager but the difference between leading and managing is very different we can have the town manager handling the day-to-day -day operations of all these different departments and committees we need to make sure they lead establish you know credibility with the other leaders in those departments and make sure those departments run on their own in the day-to-day that will be critical to the happiness of our employees moving forward. 
Mr. Memo, you'd like to add? And I would also just add that I think that a town manager obviously has to have an extensive experience in, in managing in collective bargaining agreements and negotiating collective bargaining agreements. We have a couple of them coming up. We also have a fairly contentious issue. It's going to have some resolution one way or the other. We're going to need to have something strong enough to sort of sort of mend any fences that might come as a result of that result of the particular issue. That uh, would you elaborate on the contentious issue that we're you're talking about the police to? department? We're talking about the, the Mr. Brennan. That's what we're talking about there.